Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So in this video, we will try to learn about the one important concept that is nothing but optimizing the bundle size. So this is one of the advanced dependency injection technique in the Angular. So specifically focusing on optimizing the bundle size for an application by using lightweight injection token. I will try to tell you one pattern. This is especially useful for library developers who want to make sure that their libraries don't unnecessarily increase the size of a client applications that only use a subset of their library functionality. So let's try to break down the important concepts and the point. So first one is the optimizing the application size via tree shaking. So here optimizing the application size via tree, sh tree shaking. So the first one is Angular has a mechanism called the tree shaking, which means it removes the unused code from the final bundle of a client application. For example, let's say that if a service or a component from a library is not used in the client application, the client, the Angular compiler removes it, ensuring that the application bundle stays as small as possible. So this is one thing. And the next one is, oh sorry. However, this tree shaking process can be hindered by the way injection tokens are used, leading to unused components or services being retained in the bundle, even though they are not used, utilized in the application. So this is the thing which I want to tell you. So now I will try to tell you when the tokens are retained, I will try to tell you the process. For example, let's say that I will try to take, I will try to take one example, which is uh, useful for us. So let's say I'm creating two components. There is nothing but ng gc lib card library card okay i will create another component also library header component let's try to create it and also i am creating another component that is nothing but ng gc library header card okay lib header card I, I will create these two components let's try to create it so before creating this one so i want to tell you the process right so here i have told you the first one is optimizing the application size via tree shaking so that means here, first of all, what we need to do, we need to decrease the application size always via tree shaking. When the Angular compiler always does the tree shaking whenever we are trying to compile the application. When it, so the Angular compiler, it will remove that whenever any service or a component in the application, if you are not using it, automatically the Angular compiler will remove it. This is what this process is called as a tree shaking. So now, <clears throat> This tree shaking process can be hindered by the way injection tokens are used, leading to unused components or services being retained in the process. So the tree shaking process will be involved in a particular type of injection tokens. So for example, if you are trying to use unused token or services, so these will be retained in the bundle, even though they are not utilized in the application. I will try to tell you, I will try to tell you how the tokens will be retained so that the bundle will not cannot remove the components of the services. The first one is when tokens are re retained. So this is the thing which you need to understand. So when the tokens are retained. So in Angular, first of all, you need to understand what is a token. So in Angular, a token is something that it is used to look up a dependency in the dependency injection system. Component classes, services and other objects can be used as a token. That is one thing. So there are, I will try to tell you two specific scenarios which can prevent from the tree, sh tree shaking. So there are two specific scenarios which causes tokens to be retained preventing the re tree shaking. So this when this token is retained means so the component classes services and other objects can be used as a tokens right. So when these tokens will be retained so that it will prevent it from the tree shaking. So I will try to tell you. So for example let's say that the first one is in content queries. In content queries such as when you are using content child or the content children. To get access to the child component, example library header component which we have created inside the library component. So I will try to use this library header component inside the library card component using the content child. So when you try to use like this, then the tree shaking will be prevented. So the tree shaking will not be happened. And another one is the in the constructor injection where a class is injected using dependency injection. So in this place also in the constructor injection also, if you have if you have a class is injected using dependency injection, then also the token will not the token will be retained so that this represents the uh, what i want to tell you is tree shaking i will try to tell you the uh, best example for this one so where the tree shaking will be prevented for example let's say that here this is our example so here we are having library card header and the library header component now let's say that let's go to the app.component.html file in this one let's say that i am having a div 
and here I'll be using app iPhone library iPhone card and inside this, this one I am using app iPhone lib iPhone header card okay so this inside this one I am using it as an ng content so that means in appco.component.ts file so I am importing this one now let's say that in the library card dot component okay so in our HTML file so this is our code and here I am using it as an ng content so that uh, the content whichever that thing you are mentioning between the component so it will be rendered here let's open this library card component.ts file so in this one if you want to refer the component of that one content child so what you will try to do so first one is you will try to mention it as an adred content child okay so here you will be using library header component and here you will be using a, a header or anything whatever it may be so you will be using it as a library header component and sometimes it could be null also so null and here if you try to mention ng after content in it okay when this content will be entered and if you try to check the console.log this dot header now you will try to see the, we'll try to see the output for this one now here in the console if i refresh this so we are able to get the library header component why because so we are accessing this library header component now let's say that for some reason i am removing this library header card and i am not using this library header card and here also i will, I will be trying to remove this one so now when you mention this one so here we are getting it as an undefined let's say that here in our main.js the file size is still 76.7 kb only for example if i try to mention this one and uh, here in our app.component.html if i try to mention here then also so here it is still 76.9 mb if i remove this one it will become something like 2 kb uh, lesser why because so we have removed some of the code so that means so here we are not using any reference for the library header card okay and also here also i am not using any reference for the library header card so that means automatically the main.js file should be decreased for example let's say that in our library here also if i try to remove this one automatically see here how much file size it will be decreased see automatically 73.6 kb has been decreased so that means automatically the library header card header card component has been removed but if i add it here normally actually we are not using this library header component but still it is injected so this is the thing why because here the token is retained so here i want to tell you that here is the token is retained so now when the angular compiler is compiling the code so it cannot able to distinguish okay it cannot able to distinguish that so the token is retained it cannot remove that unnecessary component in the bundle from the bundle via tree shaking and the another one which uh, the scenario happens is for example let's say that you are using the constructor injection so I am using the constructor constructor and I here you can use a type specification okay so in the constructor injection so I can use it so here I can mention it something like uh, at the rate optional it should be imported and here I can mention it as an other something like live lib header component here also I can mention it and instead of this one here I can use the other that's it so now if you mention this one also okay if you mention like this also so now here this dot header so here it will be this dot other anything you can mention it header also you can mention not a problem so then also if you are trying to see still it is 76.9 kb only and in the console you will be able to see it is an undefined if i remove from here also if i add it here okay if i add it here and if i try to add it here also if you try to see the output for this one so we are able to get the library header component so we are not throwing an error but still the the code is there okay so this is what i want to tell you so here also the token is getting retained so here in the library card the token is retained so because of that reason so we are not able to remove the angular compiler cannot able to remove it in the constructor the library header component is injected which means library header component is kept in the bundle even it is not actually used in the content query, in the content child, the library header component causes the library component, component class to be retained even if it's not included in the template. Even though type preferences like other uh, library header component type script type animations can be erased at compile time, value position references like the use of library header component inside the inject or content child are required at runtime, hence they prevent the tree shaking. So another one before this, what I have used directly the uh, content child I have used it, right? So the issue arises because Angular compiler must retain the tokens used in content queries or constructor injection. 
even if a component like like uh, liberator component isn't used in the final application it cannot be tree shaken why because its token is needed at runtime in the parent in the parent component the library have card component where is the library header component using a content shell and even if the header is not included in the template also there is nothing but li app hyphen library hyphen card with no app hyphen library header component the token for library header component is retained because it and it cannot be tree shaken so what is the solution for this one so why because here in our app dot component dot html if i am not using this one means so that means automatically i am not using the this component so this means this need, needs to be tree shaken it needs to be removed so what is the solution for this one so how i can use it so for this one we need to use the lightweight injection token so i will try to explain you this one the solution for this one in the next video hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you